The Bachelor season 27 The Women Tell All episode was jam-packed with exciting, dramatic, and important moments from Zach Shawcross and the women's journeys so far. Hosted by Jesse Palmer, The Women Tell All featured contestants Olivia Lewis, Victoria Jameson, Kat Wong, Madison Johnson, Anastasia Karamidis, Genevieve Mayo, and Mercedes Northup. They were joined by Kylie Russell, Greer Blitzer, Ali Jacobs, Christina Mandrell, Catherine Cat Izzo, Jess Gerode, Brooklyn Willie, and Charity Lawson. Zach's final three women, Katie Bigger, Gabby Elnicki, and Ariel Frankel, did not appear, as the women who make it to the fantasy suites are never on the women tell all. Other notable absences from The Bachelor's Zach Shall Cross the Women Tell All special were Brianna Thorburn, who won America's First Impression Rose, and Bailey Brown. The latter woman received Zach's first kiss of the season before she even entered the mansion. Zach had the chance to reunite with the women who were there. In some cases, they were able to get closure with him. The women also confronted each other about some of the conflict that occurred in the house. In addition, issues regarding race were addressed. Finally, the next star of The Bachelorette was announced. These top 8 moments from The Bachelor season 27 The Women Tell All are iconic. 8. The Bachelor's Mercedes Northup Kylie Russell share a group hug with Zach when Zach tested positive for COVID-19 in London. He was forced to cancel a group date, and his one-on-one -on -one date with Charity. Even worse, he hosted the week's cocktail party and rose ceremony via Zoom. This meant that he had to say goodbye to two women virtually. At the Women Tell All. Mercedes and Kylie asked Zach if they could share a proper goodbye in person, by having a group hug. Zach was happy to oblige. It was a sweet moment that showed the bond that had developed among Zach and the women. 7. The Bachelor's Christina Mandrell owns her mistakes Christina was a polarizing figure on Zach's season. Brooklyn expressed that the women felt that Christina attempted to manipulate them. Although Olivia tried to defend Christina, Kat disagreed, saying that Christina sucked up the energy in any room she entered. Genevieve stated that Christina could have a bold personality, but not at anyone else's expense. Christina, who is usually very outspoken, sat silently during this. She later thanked her castmates for letting her know how they felt, so that she could take it into account, and do better in the future. The fact that she didn't try to defend herself was admirable, and showed growth. 6. The Bachelor's Jess Gerode reveals she fell in love with herself Jess had a hard time on The Bachelor because she never received a one-on-one -on -one date from Zach. When she confronted him about it, it escalated into an argument, and he sent her home on the spot. On the women tell all, Jess confessed that she never felt so misunderstood. However, The Bachelor season 27 contestant also never behaved so strongly during a breakup. She smiled because she was proud of herself. She figured out that she deserved way more than what Zach gave her. Although she left the show feeling led on and blindsided, Jess said that she fell in love with herself. It was an empowering moment that showed a young woman finally realizing her worth. 5. The Bachelor's Cat Izzo reconnects with her mother during Cat's one-on-one -on -one date. She told Zach that she had a difficult relationship with her mother. She even left home at one point because of the tension. On The Women Tell All, Kat shared that her time on The Bachelor impacted her family more than she thought it would. Kat then revealed that she has a mother-daughter relationship with her mom now. 
She said that the whole family came together, and she was really happy. Although Kat did not win Zack's heart, this was an even more important relationship for her. For The Bachelors Genevieve Mayo explains microaggressions during a group date. Kylie tried to steal Zack away from Anastasia. When Anastasia refused, Kylie said, I don't like to fight, but... Dot. Anastasia told the other women that Kylie was aggressive, saying that she was scared of her, even though Kylie wasn't threatening her at all. Genevieve explained that this is an example of a microaggression towards black women, which propels stereotypes of them being aggressive. Anastasia said that it wasn't her intention, apologized, and stated that she is always learning. This was an important moment for the franchise, which tends to sweep interactions such as these under the rug. It brought attention to the important issue of implicit bias. 3. The Bachelor's Jesse Palmer admits to past franchise issues through the years. The Bachelor franchise has had a dismal track record of dealing with sensitive issues, especially race. Before his interview with Greer about her blackface controversy, Jesse acknowledged that the franchise has done a very poor job of addressing sensitive topics in the past. This was an important step in the right direction for the show. The Bachelorette season 19 was heavily criticized for ignoring Eric Schwer's appearance in blackface in his high school yearbook. Jess's admission that the franchise must do better when dealing with these topics led to a productive conversation about Greer's past mistake. To The Bachelor's Greer Blitzer takes accountability when Greer was younger. She defended a friend who appeared in blackface on social media. Greer had apologized for her actions earlier in the season, but on the women tell all, she added that her apology failed to mention that defending blackface was racist. Greer said that she was ashamed, and deeply sorry, that she hurt the black community. Dr. Kira Banks, the co-founder of the Institute for Healing, Justice, and Equity, appeared on the show to explain that people cannot just be performative. They need to understand the history of race relations, and be willing to do something different. Greer bravely admitted that she was wrong, and served as an example for others who want to learn more. One The Bachelor's Charity Lawson is announced as The Bachelorette at the end of the Women Tell All. Charity was announced as the lead of The Bachelorette Season 20. She was told that she would be playing a game of this or that. Jesse asked her a series of questions, including, Bachelor in Paradise or Bachelorette. Charity chose Bachelorette, after which Jesse asked her if she wanted to be the next star. She happily accepted, saying, It blows my mind that I could meet my person and be engaged and literally have my happily ever after. Charity added, I can't wait to show little girls that look like me being in a position like this is possible. The Bachelor Season 27 The Women Tell All episode reunited the women, and allowed them to find some closure at the ends of their experiences with the show. Not only was it an entertaining night that included bloopers and deleted scenes, but it addressed some of the very important issues that the franchise has previously ignored. Bachelor Nation is now looking forward to finding out what happens at the end of Zack's journey, and also on Charity Lawson's Bachelorette season. The Bachelor airs Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on ABC. Sources. Mercedes Northup, Instagram. Christina Mandrell, Instagram. Jess Gerard, Instagram. Kat Izzo, Instagram. Genevieve Mayo, Instagram. Jesse Palmer, Instagram. Greer Blitzer, Instagram. Charity Lawson, Instagram.
能否？